Hey guys, hey Nightlife here, and my horse Stargazer. Today, I'm going to show you guys some of the basics of dressage. If someone ever tells you dressage is easy, trust me, dressage is not easy. For beginners, it might seem easy, but for more advanced and pro teams, dressage can become complicated and very confusing at times, but still very fun. But today, I'm just going to show you guys some of the beginner moves and commands that you should probably know if you're thinking of joining a dressage team or club. So a command move is basically a move that the owner or team captain will ask you to do. Like NTT for example. That stands for nose to tail. So I don't know this person, she doesn't know I'm filming, but I'm just going to get behind her to demonstrate NTT. See, nose to tail. I am right behind this person as if we are in a line. But your team captain may want you to be in a specific line or order. So she might say, go behind Mia Brave Cake, for example. So I have to find Mia in order to get my spot. And you want to make sure you're a good distance from the person in front of you. You don't want to be inside them like this. But you also don't want to be too far away from them. It's good to have good spacing. So that is NTT. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Okay, so now I'm going to turn around. And you've probably heard the term pre-trot before, or pre-anything. Basically, all it means is that you're supposed to do a certain command at a certain time. So your club owner might say pre-trot. Then you will not do anything until she says trot. But remember the order you are in, in your line. You don't want to start trotting before the person in front of you starts. You want to stay in your line. So if she says trot, you have to wait till everyone in front of you starts, so you keep a good straight line and a good space between the person in front of you. So that is what pre-anything means. It could be rear, it could be turn, it could be anything. Pre is just something to let you know that something is about to be asked, or something you have to do. So now we will move on to some of the moves. The first one I'm going to show you is a curl. You probably heard curl before. Lots of people do them in dressage. A curl is basically a very tight circle. When you think of a circle, you might think of this. But this is not actually a circle. This is an example of a curl. So here, watch. Imagine that my club owner says pre-curl. I wait. She'll probably tell me left or right. So I wait for her to say left or right. And then when she says go or whatever the signal word is, I will do this. You will want to try also to stay on your line. The line that you started on. So curl is pretty simple. It's basically just staying in a straight line and when your whoever is telling you what to do says curl or the command word you will do a kind of circular motion like this. Now if you have another line going next to you you might hear your club owner say pre curl away. That means if the people are over here, next to me, or on the other side of me, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. So let's pretend that there are some people over here. And if people are walking that way, and they're over here, I would turn this way, away from them. And they would do the same thing, but the opposite way. So you want to go away from them. That is a pre-curl away, but if not, you will just curl in the direction that you are told to do. So that's a curl. Not too bad, right? And a comb is what I'm going to teach you next. A comb is also pretty simple. So I'm going to pick a line here, and when someone says comb, or wherever you're supposed to do it, you're basically just going to do a half circle and come back. I don't know why it's called a comb, I don't think a comb, I think a hairbrush. That looks nothing like a hairbrush. 
but it's a dressage move. So I'm going to get on this line here and do another comb. So say I'm supposed to comb at K. Let's estimate that I'm at K right now. Comb right. Turn around and get on another line going straight. It's hard to get the hang of getting on a straight line after curls and combs. But after a while, you will eventually know exactly where the lines are. So here, I'll do another comb at H to the left. Get a line. Well, it's not a line, but it's good enough. And go back. So that is a comb. Now, now I'm going to show you a cut. A cut is also simple. It's basically where you just cut the arena or wherever you are doing the dressage. So here. I'm going to go down this line, and I'm going to cut to the left at the center. Cut, and that's it. You cut wherever you are at the time, or wherever the leader says you need to cut. So she may say, well, turn left, I'm going to turn left. And she may say, cut left. Cut. Usually cuts are in specific places, like middles of arena, Sides, angles, never really at random locations, like I just did. So right here is the middle of the arena. Usually people cut right here, or in the edges, like right here, not the edges, the middle. The middle is usually a popular area to cut. So you just cut wherever your owner says to go. She might say left, right, middle, and you'll just wait for the signal and you'll go. So cutting is not very hard. Now I'm going to show you what a die is. A die is basically a diagonal. That's what it stands for. So I'm going to go into one of these corners. Dies are usually always on one of these edges, like right here. So she'll say die. I know die sounds hard. It's like die, but no, it means do this. And I'm just going to go to the opposite angle. Keeping a straight line is kind of impossible during a die, but you will try your best to make it a straight line, or to look as fancy as possible. But if you're on a line and you're not in the lead, you'll basically follow the person in front of you, but you know what you're supposed to be doing anyways. So now I'm going to die over at this corner. Okay? Okay, die. Oh, I can't see where I'm going. There we go. And now I'm just going to go to the opposite corner again. So wherever you are in the arena, if you are in one of these corners and someone says die, you know to go to the opposite corner ahead of you. It doesn't matter what pace you're going, it just matters that you're going to the opposite angle and you're doing the pace that you're supposed to be doing. Usually your leader will tell you if you want what they want you to trot or canter or whatever. So let me think. Is that it for beginners? Beginners is not too hard. To be absolutely honest with you, I haven't learned the stuff and what happened. I haven't known the stuff for very long. And I've been doing dressage for a few months. Because different clubs require different things for you to know. Like spirals. Which I think I've taught you guys before. But if not, I'll take you in the next video. So please let me know if I've taught you that before. So I'm a little new to some of these moves. But they're pretty easy to get the hang of. And once you know them and like remember them. Then you can take them to whatever club you want. And just go on from there. So that is some of the beginning beginners of dressage, however you say it. And in my next video, or whenever I get to it, I'll show you the intermediate dressage moves. That way you can advance from beginners. So watch this video as many times as you need, and hopefully it helps you if you're confused when your team captain or club owner ask you to do stuff like curls, combs, and so on. So thank you for watching. Again, I hope this is very helpful. Please comment, like, subscribe, and have an awesome day. 
and I hope to see you soon out in an arena or the riding hall doing dressage and some of the new moves that you just learned. Thank you. Have a great day. Hayden here.